Hello, everybody. Oh, wow. Um, hello, Lorraine in Estepona. I wish I was there. It's been pouring with rain in Derbyshire. My name's Stephanie Waitman, for those of you that don't know me. Welcome to Highlight Crafts. We've got a little, a special, special show for you. And it's our little gatherings. And these are great dies if um, you actually have not gone for the big collections. So we've got little get togethers. Now, just wanna say a few hellos to everybody. And thank you for watching, because we do appreciate it. I've got loads of lovely finished samples to share with you. So all about ideas, inspiration. So the first little set that I've got is a, um, a little get together. And look at these folds. So this is the first of them, which is called Fur and Feathers. Now you've got Noble Steeds. So Fur and Feathers is the collection, Noble Steeds is the die. And what we've got here are our, our fabulous horses. We've also got our little donkeys. We've got our foals. In fact, all together, you are getting 11 dies in this collection. So it actually comes to you as one Mabor die and that come, works out at 11 die cuts. So what it means is this one die, which is our swift die, joins all the pieces up together. So it means that the smaller pieces never get lost. Great for dimension, but these also work beautifully and the cards on their own. And I'm just gonna pick a couple of them out so you can see just how good this looks. Wow. I mean, isn't that simply stunning? So that's what we're talking about when we're looking at these dies. And you can see here the horse, look at the horses and the foals. I mean, it just lends itself perfectly to picture building or making beautiful cards. Um, hello everybody who's just joined. Gosh, we're getting busy. It's um, a hi, Marion, Helen, Anne, Lorraine, um, another Lorraine, another Lorraine. Sure, it's not the same, Lorraine. Oh, I am. Um, I tell you what, I'm, I'm going to tell you a quick little story. Um, I am um, rubbish at names. Those of you that know me all know I'm absolutely hopeless. From, from, from um, many, many years, I have struggled even with my husband's name, getting his name wrong. Um, but um, it's, and it's become a bit of a joke at work. And so I was actually teaching a class and it was, oh, it was down in... Um, let me think of the place. It was down near Bristol. And though you may even have been in the class if you have, hello Wendy. Um, so what happened was I'd had to go to a quick meeting. I was a little bit late for the class and I get really embarrassed about things like that because I think as a person who has paid to come and join a class, the least the tutor can do is turn up on time. So yeah, hands up, sorry, we were a bit late with our Facebook Live too. Um, but I walked into the class and said, okay, you guys know me, I'd like to, you to introduce yourselves. And the first lady said, hello, my name's Wendy. And I was like, oh, hi, Wendy. And I'm going, Wendy, Wendy, Wendy in my head. And the second lady goes, oh, that's strange, because my name's Wendy too. And I'm like thinking, great, two Wendy's. Wendy, 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 that's great. I can remember two Wendy's. And then the third lady went, oh, oh, well, I've never seen two Wendy's before because I'm Wendy too. And in my head, my head went, now you're Mickey, and I can't repeat the word, the Mickey out of me because I was sure I had been set up by the person that was looking after the tutor. What are the chances of having Wendy, Wendy, Wendy all sitting next to each other and they didn't know one another? And God's honest truth, that is the truth. So I thought I'd been set up, but actually, no, nope, that's just the way it was. So our noble steeds that you can see here, um, Put us a little message in the chat if you know somebody else with the same name as yourself. I bet it's quite strange. I've only ever met one other Stephanie. And she was, um, she was actually beautiful, really slim and lovely. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, and I used to look at her and think, gosh, I thought all Stephanies would like that, were like this. But no, they're, all, they're not. So anyway, rambling a little, this is a poor feet, poor fact, gathering. Got the little dogs, aren't they cute? Look at the little puppies that we've got here. All of them coming through the design. 
and I'm just going to show you another sample. That is just super cute. Absolutely adorable. <coughs> Excuse me, I beg your pardon, everyone. So there you can see our little dogs. They are cute, aren't they? So we'll put that one to the side. This is called Winging It. Oh, that's the story of my life, that is. Um, so you've got all of these. I don't know why that made Andrew laugh so much. It's one of his favourite things as well. Um, you can see all these little ducks. For those of you that don't know who Andrew is, he isn't just the voices in my head. He is a real person. And he's actually our esteemed producer and director. So he, he tries. He's very trying. Um, but yeah, no, he's lovely. So look at the little chicks. Aren't they super cute? Behind all the woodwork that we've got here. Absolutely exquisite. The little birds are up in the trees there. I'm going to bring in another design for you to see. Seeing the little birds here. Here again are the foals, the little dog that we saw a few moments ago. And um, again, we've got more detail with all of these lovely elements. So let's move those out of the way because the fourth one in this collection is a perfect gathering. This one's my favourite and I love you've got him in two different sizes. So again, two, four, six, eight, ten dies. So 10 die cuts, because when you look at it, they each come to you on one die and it's what we call one of our swift dies so that the little dies don't get lost. So just as a recap, if you do want all of this collection together, we've got them at a very special price for Robin's Nest members of £40 and 49 pence. And you've got a really lovely saving there. Um, all together, these should have been 55.96. So yeah, great little saving. Um, we'll just take a quick look at them once more because if you weren't able to go for the big collections, this gives you the chance to get multiple dies and to still be able to build the scenes, to get the perspective and have all of these in one collection. Okay, so that's one set now. While we've been looking at these finished examples, and I'm just going to bring some of the frames in here so that you can see some of the ones that we've just been looking at. This gives you an idea of how beautiful all of those animals look. But you'll be noticing some foliage, some tools. We've also got some gorgeous flowers in here. Well, that's because there is another collection. And the second one for you... Again, you know, not everybody likes their animals. Everybody has different taste in their card making or their projects. So this collection for you, if you're a fan of flowers, is an absolute must. Because in here, you've got nature's gathering. You've got these lovely iris. You've got that blossom that's from one of the very first collections that we did. Also, we've got the cosmos here. We've got the little bluebells, the poppies. And, of course, um, our lovely purple flowers. So that's the first of them. The second one is a blooming gathering. And here we've got lots of lovely spring flowers. So these are going to look fabulous when the robins go into the cottages in the, in the spring. And you can see all of these lovely florals together. And imagine the flowers with the gnomes that we had earlier in the year. They would look pretty phenomenal. This one, which is called Bits and Bobs. So we've got Bits and Bobs. So we've called the whole collection Blooms and Bobs. And you've got all the different pieces from the, blown, when, from the um, umbrella right here to the stacks of newspaper. And probably how some of us will be keeping warm over the winter. And then finally, for the gardeners, all of these other elements. So treasured trinkets of this collection. And in here, again, you have got that one die and all of them giving you the die cuts. So again, we're down to £40.49 and pence for Nest members. Your chance to get hold of these as part of our Facebook Live. Now, if you do want everything, the team have done a big deal for you. 
and what they've done is it works out at 103 cuts which is 68p per cut for nest members and all together the total cost for nest members is 69.55 so that really is more than a third 33% saving so let's take a look at a couple of these projects really close up so that you can see the detail so this is a lovely stepper and it works beautifully with all of the backing papers that we've got and you can see how Vicky has just built this design up and literally made it into a scene if I bring this one back in, we now can see where the flowers have come, come from. I've got another one here that we didn't quite get the chance to see, but it shows you how all of that goes together in that detail. And I'm just gonna show you that one from the front. And then while we're looking at that one from the front, let's take a look at this one because it gets you to see that acetate bowed front that is holding all of this together. And then finally, another one that Vicky's done for us, which gives us that extra dimension. Now, with all of these small pieces together, I want to show you how to assemble a scene with them. So what I've already prepared, I've already prepared a couple of things. First of all, I've got my frame. Now, I want to give you a tip about this because when we did this at Doncaster, my goodness me, I learned that I wasn't teaching it well enough and you guys needed some help. So since then, I've adopted a new method of making them. So the first thing that I do is um, let me put a piece of this black card under so you can see it. So the first thing that you do is you get four pieces of the frame and you roll it along each of the score lines like that. But you'll notice at one end of the frame it's straight and at the other end it's cut. You need to make sure that everything goes in the same direction. So there it is, it's cut. And the next one is cut. And then the next one is cut. And the next one is cut. Okay, so we've got all of those together. Once I've taped them all, I can start to build this up. So it's as simple as you remove the tape from the back and you roll this round so that you end up with a square. Now there's a couple of different ways of doing it. I like to fold it in flat and then fold over the edge that I've got here. So fold that flat in there, and then as part of it, just fold over that edge like that. So let's do another one. So again, really easy with our red liner tape. It holds it all together. Super static, but it does hold it. So we're going to fold that in half there, and then roll this piece over the top like that. And then that pops up to make the square, okay? Two more to do, only taking us a moment, as you can see. And we're gonna snip just there, take off that tape. And while I'm doing this, I'll do the same thing. Um, Anne's just been saying when she was young, she had two friends and they were all called Anne. Well, that must have been really confusing. Anne, come in, it's time for tea. Um, and people didn't believe her. I can believe that. Absolutely. I can believe that because I actually went to school with two boys named um, Lawn and Dale Green. Imagine, Lawn Green and Dale Green. Yeah, that was an interesting, they were interesting lads. So what I'm doing now is I'm using this board, because this is going to be the map for my card, as a guide. And I'm actually going to be cutting this frame. Now, I need the frame to sit on top. So um, I am going to go up to that edge and up to 
this edge and I'm just going to be marking it. And I fold that flat and then cut that piece off. Okay, so that's the first panel. And I'm going to need two panels that are that size. So I'm going to go this one or come this way. And we're going to take this piece that we've cut off, line it up to that edge like that and snip just there. Then I'm going to tuck this one inside. So uh, because, because I took the glue right to the edge, this works. So that will go inside there and it makes that nice sharp corner. I'm going to paste this over the frame just slightly over the edge and mark just there. And so that panel is going to get cut off. So that panel is going to come off this last one that I've got here. So I should have all my pieces the right length. So there we go. This long one now sits here. And, it's, and the reason that this works, because what happened when we were doing our retreat, we found that some people's frames just did not fit together. And I, and I was quite bemused as to how po it was possible that they could have possibly gone wrong. And what we worked out was happening was not every single part of the frame had been folded in the same direction. So there you can see, there's my frame that's now going to sit very nicely over the actual um, piece of card that I've got ready. Inside that piece of card, I have got um, a, a design that I'm going to be layering up. So I'm just gonna pop this to one side to make sure that this all stays together. A couple of little tricks for you. So I could put the whiteboard on the back and use that to hold it all together, but I prefer to do this. So I'm going to cut a little triangle. And that little triangle can go over the front like that. Or it can go to the back like that. And if it's coming to the back, just make sure it can't be seen inside. But to the front, it actually does look quite nice having it as an extra corner. And I would probably consider using my tattered lace dies there as corners to create a little bit of extra dimension. Right, so how are we gonna build this? Well, I've taken some of those fabulous scenery dies that allow us to cut it in and get these decorative shapes. And I'm just gonna paste this piece down here. But before I do, I'm gonna check that I've centered it properly because I want to have a tiny black border all the way around this. So I've got to look at how that's going to sit and where that's going to go. So that one's going to go about there. And then my sky will go on next. But the first thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put the sky on first because I'll get a better. Yes, that'll give me a better frame. OK, so let's lift this one up and put the sky on. So to do that, I'm going to use a little bit of foam and take this round here. A little bit longer this Facebook Live, everybody, but I wanted to really share with you, a, you know, an idea of something that you could be doing that is really effective, especially when you're scene building or you're using all of your smaller dies so I'm just keeping this on here, making sure that it's all lined up and getting that nice and level there. And then this piece is going to go in with a small border on either side. You can always correct that if it isn't perfect because you've got a little bit of movement with that frame. I've then got this panel and I've also got this one. So I've got two more panels that I can add in to get more detail. Now, the reason that I might want to add in these extra panels, and I'm just going to bring these in. Oh, by the way, there's an offer on these um, little bags, Craftmaster wallets, which I think is 
a really a great one to have is so I can tuck this behind like this. Can't believe four Susans in Susan's class at school. Oh, what's, um, what's the most embarrassing thing that happened to you at school? I don't know whether I dare ask you that. Go on, tell me what's the most embarrassing. I promise I'll share with you mine. Andrew won't tell you. He's only going to tell you his after. Well, I think that's it. that means his must be really bad. So I'm making sure I'm coming down quite away below the this um, cup here because so that I've got room to tuck things behind it. Okay, shall I tell you what mine is? Mine is that when I first went, now I would have been about mm, six, maybe five or six, I think, when this happened. And what happened was I went to school and the teacher said, I, so I was new. So I was a forces child. So what happened was there was always somebody new in the class, but you were never new for more than a fortnight because somebody else came along. So anyway, teacher said to me, right, we've got somebody. So all the class, we've got somebody new in the class. Um, what? Um, let me introduce her. So she said to me, so what is, <laughs> I cannot believe I'm telling you this. I've just realised what I'm doing. Honestly, this is, oh dear. If anybody was in my class at school, you remember this. <laughs> it wasn't crafting. I was only about six. Teacher said to us, this is a new girl. Tell everybody in that your, your um, Christian name. So I thought she meant my surname because I didn't know what different names were called. So, so I said, Judd. And she said, that's a strange name to be called Judd. So she said, is that really your Christian name? So, <laughs> so then I said, Jane, which is my middle name. I had no idea she meant my first name. She didn't say first name, she said Christian name. So for the first few weeks at school, everybody called me Jane. Until my mum and dad went to the parent teacher's class and got told that I told everybody the wrong name in class. And my mum was like, why didn't you say something? And do you know what I said? I said I didn't want to change my name because everybody said it was nice. So when I said my name was Jane, everybody said, that's a nice name. So I didn't want to change it. <laughs> oh, dear. Honestly, being at school was embarrassing. Right. So you can see how that's all coming together now. So we're building that little frame around it. But what we've also got is these pockets behind to do things here. So I've got a whole host of um, beautiful dyes. And it's quite... Um, there's a lot to choose from. So I definitely need my donkeys because they're out here. And I chose this scene. I've got the little bit of greenery right in the back in the hillside. But I chose this scene because there are so many different things that I could do with it. So I'm going to take the little gloves that we've got. And I'm just going to cut away so I'm using the little pips and I'm just going to cut away part of one of the gloves because I'm going to use that for a nest so we're going to make a little nest from all of this so we've got these lovely little ducklings that are going to sit in and it's going to look like they're being held in a little a little group of hands so <clears throat> we're going to need to start building this up going to use glue gel to start with and my fine tip glue applicators which I sometimes forget about and then I wonder why how I managed without them so we're going to start off by putting the first part of the glue here and that is going to allow us to put the start of the nest here our little duck 
is going there and this one is going to go behind so that part of it is going to go behind then I've got another little duckling that I'm just giving a little bit of shape to and this one is going to stand just here just like that the mummies are going to go on the fr front of the frame and they're going to be here so they're going to go right to the front of the frame so let me lift my frame up and get a view for where they're going to go and it's going to be about there so we'll get some wet glue out of the pot that i've got and another applicator and they're going to sit on here so let's pop those on the front just like that i'm going to take the second one and just decoupage it to get a little bit of extra depth so these are the first of our little ducklings and so this time we're going to go back to our glue gel and this is why having multiple glues really makes a difference because you get the chance to be able to get lots of different dimensions so you can see that that's super cute and I'm just going to move those along a little bit get that stuck there we go so that's the first part of the story then the next part of it is i've got my horses I need to think about whether i'm going to use them all i'm not convinced i am i think i'm going to use the foal and the donkey because these are friends so the donkeys here and we'll put that one in the in the background because the little ducks want to go further in the corner and i've got my donkey and my foal are over here. Then I've got some little birds and I've got the baby duck that's actually here. So you can see because they're further away, we've got, oh God, don't let them get trampled. Put that one there and build up that part of the design. The farmer has, and I'm going to pop this frame on because I can build this without needing that part of the design. So let's... Let's do this. I can, sure, I can get my fingers into this frame well enough. So I'm just going to pop this on here. And thank you, everybody, for joining in. Any more um, names that people have got that they want to share? Oh, you're all being shy today, are you? Um, some of the things I tell you, I share my soul with you. I know, I know you will think I'm a fruitcake. Um, here we go. So let's get this lined up properly and make sure that it's level and even, which at the moment it isn't. So I'm just going to, let's do this and let's use a tip that we know always works. Move those out the way. Use the bottom, the base of my, um, my actual craft mat to hold it all down let's get that straight up there tuck that piece back in let's see okay so let's have a look yeah it's not bad it's quite almost there I just need to tuck that in a little bit tighter just there might get a flower over the top if i need it okay so now we're going to put our little donkey up here so he's going to go into this part of the design there. Our little foal is going to go to here. So he's going to go just there. Our tiny weeny little duck is going to go in front. Our little duckling is going to go just there. So they're just having a little chat, all of them together friends then I need another little duckling because that one can't be on its own so I'm going to pop that one just there so I've got those two looks like they've just wandered out wandered away from mum and dad now we've got to put our little collies in so I've got my little 
sleeping dog is to the front because he is fast asleep and having a nap. And we'll use some wet glue to hold him down. So I've got some wet glue to just hold that either side. So that stays in place like that. I'm just going to move that glue a tiny little bit. There we go. So he's there. Then I've got the little collie. So the baby one is, oh gosh, he's right over here. So see how I've tucked him just behind this little bit of hedge that we've got. He's behind there. This one is sitting right here. So he's sitting there. Then I've got my, all my different tools and everything else that have been left by the guys that have been doing the work in the fields. So we need these actually sticking down. And that means I need some more of my wet glue. So I'm alternating between the different glues. So we'll pop that one just there. This one needs to catch on the edge. So that we've, bought, we've built that little corner. So we've built part of the scene. Over here where we've got the gloves and <clears throat> I haven't stuck that frame on well, have I? It's not quite straight. Well, we're going to need to put some other stuff over here to make sure that that gets dis that's distracted. So we'll put the little tools here and the girls' gloves. They can go there as well. So they'll go just here. So, oops, there we go. So we've got, again, a little story going on in the corners. Now we've got our florals and this is where the fun starts. So I'm going to come over the top with the first set. So we're to here. Then I'm going to take the others where I've got, so I've got some of the lovely flowers to the back. I've got some of them to the, um, this is going to go inside there. You should be wet. They're going to go to there, so it's bringing up the story. This one, I'm just going to get, get some more glue. Sorry, I'm going to move that glue so I'm not keep reaching over and spoiling the shot for you. Then I've got my irises, which are stunning, so that's going to go here. My poppies will sit in the field, but they're going to tuck behind, just there. The daffodils are going to go just there. And remember, this is, I know lots of you have said to me in the past, oh, it's not all in proportion, but you've got the tiniest little ones. So if you wanted to do this really, really small, you could. But I'm choosing to build it up like a little mini story. And I'm leaving this space blank so that you could actually put a sentiment. So you can have a sentiment there. So again got some more of these little pieces which this one is going to go in right into there so that it looks like whoops turn you over pop you there so it looks like it's all part of the story then I've got some I've got another iris that I'm going to put just here and that's going to go and tuck behind our little puppy I've got some little tiny flowers, which even though they're small, they've still got little pieces that pop out to make them even more delicate than they, they first appear. So I'm just gonna get the last little pieces out from here. So, oops, whoops, there's another little piece. So we'll pop that one just there. So that's another little piece. I've got, some more tiny flowers, which you can see are just really pretty. So they can go just there. I've got room to put some more smaller ones just amongst this. So let's put 
that one just tuck it into the the little fork there this one is my daffodil and that's going to go right behind that part of the design so i'm filling in this corner I'm liking how this is starting to come together i've got my daffodils here <clears throat> they're going to tuck behind like that and they're tulips actually not daffodils what am i telling you i've got <clears throat> some little bluebells and some snowdrops so they're going to go just there so i've filled in that little part and then finally I think I need, and I'm just going to cut this one just there so that I can tuck that just into that part there. Now, I need a little bit more <clears throat> detail just in this top corner because it feels as if the story isn't quite complete. So I'm looking in amongst all my different designs and looking for one of the little birds that's going to sit in that corner and I've got here we go the perfect one so we'll put his glue there and there and that will be enough to just hold him like that so we've created our little story with all our pieces building up the design and putting it into a little frame so everything that you're seeing part of that collection just moving the my little donkey over a little bit and then those two little ducks and the idea is that every every time you look at it you see something that you didn't see before and in fact that's exactly what's happening because I'm looking at all the spare pieces that I've got that I'm surrounded with and thinking how many more different designs I could be doing so the idea build up your designs get lots of detail into them, take advantage of all of those special savings. Oh, I think he needs to go on there too. Our little Westie, let's put him on and have him just there. But lots of sizes for you to work with. And if the collections were out of your price bracket previously, then hopefully this will make it much more affordable. Everything's available individually. Oh, and oh, something they told me, if you're a Cadence fan, um, code K um, Cadence 20, I'm not meant to tell you this, it actually works. We've got, we found some more mystery bundles of paint and they've got them back in stock. Don't forget to use those, but don't 